So this is the Mauno Caster E2. And on paper, they said that this is the ultimate audio production solution for content creators, including podcasters, streamers, and even musicians. So in this video, that is what we are going to talk about. If this is indeed the ultimate audio production for you. Let's not make this long. Let's roll the intro. Before anything else, I would like to officially welcome you to my channel. Thank you for making it past the intro. If you are into cameras, gadgets, technologies, all that good stuff, please do subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't yet. In that case, you won't miss out on anything from this channel. By the way, shout out to Mauno for sending me this and for making this review possible. Actually, not just this, but also this microphone right here. Having that out of the way, let's dive right into the topic okay so like i said this is the mauno caster e2 and right off the box this does everything that i need as a content creator like what you're looking at right now i'm doing a talking head video and this microphone right here is directly connected to my mauno caster e2 by the way as I mentioned earlier, this is the Mauno PD400X. I already made a video about this. You can watch that after this video. Shameless plug. Anyway, going back to the Mauno Caster E2. So yes, you're hearing right now is the Mauno Caster E2 with the Mauno PD400X all in all directly connected to my camera. No in-between recorders or no post-processing whatsoever. So let me know in the comment section if I'm sounding decent or what. In any case, as I've said, this is pretty much okay and very fine as for my talking head video. I like the convenience that I don't need to sync audio in post because like I said, this is directly connected to my camera. Also, the Mauno Caster E2 has two microphone inputs. So whenever my wife and I would do a podcast or something, the Mauno Caster E2 is our way to go. By the way, if I haven't mentioned, you can also adjust the microphone 2 input if ever you have separately from the microphone 1. And that's that for me is, you know, very helpful whenever my wife and I they are doing podcast. But of course, since I'm a Lone Ranger right now, I'm only using one of the microphone inputs. And of course, I use the input one. And believe it or not, for podcasting, this is very much capable, like for real. Maybe soon, my wife and I will do a podcasting channel. Who knows? But yeah, I'm hopeful and I'm really looking forward to it. Stay tuned. But anyway, let's move on to these knobs right here. Basically, these are knobs that would enhance the quality of your audio. Like we have here the low. So if I adjust it, this would decrease or this would totally remove the low frequency of my voice. So I don't like this very much. So I'm going to try moving to the maximum level. So this is something that that's on the maximum side of the low. But I personally like it around maybe 2 o'clock. Yes, hello, mic check, mic check. So yeah, very, very manly sounding audio. Now let's move on to the mid. Maybe I can, I can let you hear first the zero mid. So this, I don't know what's wrong. I, I, I can't really tell. By the way, I am not a professional audio engineer or whatsoever. So yeah, I really can't tell what's missing, but it's not good. Am I right? So let's try doing the maximum mid. I don't really like this very much as well. On my on the interface, it's peaking, but yeah. So let's try moving to um, maybe 12 o'clock, just the neutral, or a bit of 3 o'clock. Yeah, I think I like that. And then the high, for the high frequency, this is without the high frequency. And this is with the maximum high frequency um it's okay but it's not that um pleasing to to the ears i don't know but for me it's not that pleasing so let's try moving to 12 o'clock i don't like my high frequencies you know that much and then beside the high frequency knob is the instrument so this is like i said earlier this mauno caster e2 is designed also for musicians so there is an input where you can plug in your instrument like your guitar your bass guitar or whatsoever and then you can also adjust the volume of that instrument separately from everything 
on the Monocaster E2. How cool is that? But of course, right now I don't have an instrument plugged in. So even if I move the knob here, you won't hear any difference. But maybe I'll try that in another video. And now for the pitch. This is one of my favorite features of the Monocaster E2 because... I can do a voice like this. Hello, my name is Dan from Danboxing PH and this is a sound test with the pitch in the maximum level. Hello, my check, my check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, or I can do that, or... Hello, my chat. This is the sound test of the Monocaster E2 with the pitch in the minimum side of this. Yeah, hello, my chat, my chat. I, I do sound like the professor in the money heist. Hello, my chat, my chat. This is very cool. So, yeah, I, I find that very, very amazing I, I, the first time i tried it i was blown away my wife was my, my wife was super amazed about it so yeah super super glad that it has that feature actually i like it this is currently at the neutral level but i like it um towards the minimum yes with with that low um, frequency being amplified something like that and then the next one beside the pitch is the monitor so of course if I adjust this, the monitor um, or the one that you're hearing right now would be affected because the monitor knob is the one that's, that that is the one that controls the volume that you're hearing right now. So that's that's also the the, the volume or the audio time that I'm hearing right now. So if I adjust it, there you go. I don't think you're hearing anything. So yeah there so that's the monitor for you and then the big knobs um on both sides of the monocaster e2 the one on the left is the auxiliary knob by the way you can plug your microphone to the monocaster e2 and then you can control that via the auxiliary um, knob right here there are actually two ways to connect your smartphone or your ipad to the monocaster e2 first is by wire this by this cable right here of course you would need a um, lightning cable adapter so you can plug in your smartphone or you can also um, connect your smartphone via bluetooth yes you heard it right you can connect this wirelessly to the monocaster e2 so like for example um, let me just demonstrate how it sounds or how it works let's try one of my videos so you, we won't get copyrighted you know what i'm saying so let's try. Of course, we're going to play another Mauno. Um, um, another Mauno um, review that I did, that I recently made on my YouTube channel. So let's try doing my review um, for the Mauno PD400X. Okay, it's not playing on my iPhone, but you're not hearing anything because the knob, the auxiliary knob right here is set to minimum. So let's try moving it slowly. There you go. You can now hear my never-ending intro or you know uh, my my dubstep intro so let's try to fast forward the intro if you are into cameras gadgets technologies all that good stuff please do subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't yet in that case you won't miss out on anything from this channel by the way again um that is connected this my, this smartphone right here is directly connected to the monocaster e2 wirelessly via bluetooth next is the output knob on the right side of the monocaster e2 this is the output knob to control if there would be speakers connected to the monocaster e2 but right now uh, i don't have any speakers attached or plugged into my monocaster e2 so even if i um, adjust the the output knob right here it won't affect any of the recording that you're hearing right now so but yeah you can connect um, audio speakers external speakers to the monocaster e2 and you can remotely control the volume of those speakers and now let's talk about something that is amazing but i'm not using it as often the auto tune feature of the monocaster e2 so this is a that major, one b flat major okay major. you're hearing c that major. oh okay C major. So this is the C major. Woohoo! Woohoo! So that's the auto tune. Let's try D flat major. D flat major. Hello. 
So from A major to A flat, you can use the auto-tune feature of the Mono Caster E2. A major. Original. Let me just turn it off because, again, it is amazing, but I don't use that often time because maybe because I'm not a singer or I don't feel the need you know, to, to use it, to use the auto-tune. So, yeah. But again, it's just amazing at least for me. And then you also have sound pads on the Monocaster E2 if in case you're saving, you know, um, laughing sound effects, clapping sound effects. You can save them here and you can play it um, simultaneously while you're doing your recording or whatsoever. Right now, I don't have any saved effects on the Monocaster E2 because like I said, I don't usually use sound effects on my production. But yeah, it's just a good thing. It's just so good or it's just a cool thing to have it there. Thank you. Mauno. Also, we have here three knobs beside the sound pads to control the pad volume, the depth, and the decay time. I don't usually touch these knobs right here because like I said, I like my sound, I like my audio to be as flat as possible. And lastly, we have here reverb presets, sidechain, music only, dry wet, loopback, denoise. These are extra pads that would better enhance or better equip the audio quality of your recording. I usually use the reverb presets because there are tons of options inside this little, no little pad right here. Right now, I'm using the original to get as flat as possible audio recording. But I'll let you hear the other reverb presets inside the Mauna Caster E2. Karaoke. Karaoke. So this is the one that we use whenever we do um, karaoke using the Monocaster E2. Yes, you heard it right. We use this for karaoke. We just need to connect my smartphone or, or, or my iPad and then we can search on YouTube karaoke songs and then we can sing along with my wife using the karaoke reverb presets. And believe me, it is super amazing. Church, hall, valley, room, original. So that's basically it, the, the, the options for the reverb presets on the Monocaster E2. Oh, by the way, let me just quickly demonstrate the denoise feature of the Monocaster E2. Noise cancelling on. This is with the noise cancellation on. I actually don't um, use this normally because I find my voice being chopped. I, I don't know. It, it has that effect. Noise cancelling off. So without the denoise feature, it's pretty much quiet as well. By the way, if I haven't mentioned, the Monocaster E2 is battery-operated piece of tech. What do I mean by that? You don't need like AA, AAA batteries to power this up, but you can charge this via USB-C cable that comes with it. I haven't tried how long the maximum capacity of the battery but right now the battery level didn't even move so i i bet it can record for such a long period of time for me that is very ideal and mindful of mauno uh, for doing that because this is set to be like uh, a go-to or on-the-go audio interface audio production solution for for us content creators so if you even if you're on the go if you're in the car you can use this wirelessly or you can use this without any um, power outlet or whatsoever such amazing innovation also another thing that i want to mention is that this can accommodate condenser microphones and dynamic microphones so like right now the, the the pd400x is a dynamic microphone and it also has it can also provide 48 volts phantom power. As a matter of fact, I can use my Shure SM7B on the Monocaster E2. It can add 40 to 60 decibels of gain. So yes, without any Triton Fethead cloud lifter, you can use the Shure SM7B with the Monocaster E2 with no problem. Like how cool is that? The only thing that I don't like about the Monocaster is is the build quality it's very much plasticky in my opinion but i can say that it's well built but the fact that it's made of plastic mostly made of plastic uh, i don't find it very um sturdy that 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 can last for a good amount of time but yeah with with proper maintenance and you know whatsoever this can take a beating as well it's not that big of a deal for me but yeah it is mainly made of plastic 
You just have to take note of that. Another con for me of the Mauna Caster Ito is that despite having an excellent preamp like what you're hearing right now, I believe is very, very excellent and very, very professional. The preamp of the Mauna Caster for the monitor output is not that on par with what you're hearing right now. So like what, what, what I'm hearing right now is not that okay. It's not that great. It's not that, um, it's not very the same as as to what you're hearing right now so that is something that annoys me how i wish it can be the same so i can you know um monitor myself better again the output that you're hearing right now is i'm confident to say that it is excellent right but what i'm hearing right now through the monitor preamp is not that okay so yeah But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. As for a conclusion, with all the features of the Mauna Caster Ito at a very affordable price, I'd say this is a great tool for content creators like you and me. There you go, folks. I am sure I wasn't able to cover everything. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section or we can connect on Instagram or on Facebook. Once again, a big thanks to Mauna for sending me this and for making this review possible. As I end, if you're getting value from this video, please do like and subscribe for more not super technical but rather practical approach to gadgets and technologies. Until then, thank you for watching.